Yes. Hello. Harlem. Harlem, are you with me? Matt, are you here? I don't know. We're in Harlem. We're here. We're in Harlem. We're the bar seminar. Who are you? I've been studying bars for years. Call me the bar scholar, soon I'll be a bar doctor, soon I'll teach a class. A class on bars, do you know my ex? She shows her ass at bars. That's a girl, is she the Rolled and Dirty's bar seminar? She says no, you give it to her really hard. Keep on being as happy as you are. Keep on being a nappy admirer. Keep on getting promoted and hired. She seems distant, she seems tired. Thanks for joining us today. We're talking about bars. Appreciating them as the modern poetry they are. I am Dritty Pope. I'm Matthew Rotgerlin. Yes, you are. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Matt. Weird. Can you hear me, Matt? I cannot hear doodly, but that's all right. That's all right. Matt, <coughs> what we're talking about today is... Oh. Ready for this? This is big. This yeah. is big. You're not ready. You're not ready. Dude, I'm, I'm sitting down. I'm ready. What is the big fish theory? <laughs> what is the big fish theory? I know, I know. I, I shouldn't even be allowed to ask that question. Too big a question to handle in one hour That's of radio. True. I feel the space-time being distorted as already, already. And here we go. No further ado. Vince Staples dropped his second full-length studio album, The Big Fish Theory, in 2017. Rapper mm -hmm. from Long Beach, California. An outspoken rapper. Yes. Excellent public speaker. Excellent public speaker. In his interviews with rap radio, he will give hot takes, seem controversial, yeah, but, yeah, are, but, are, but are very backed up. Yeah, he's pretty van vanilla compared yeah. to Tyler. He's a nihilist. Okay. He's a nice guy. Okay. He's Agreed. the kind of guy who thinks none of this really matters. So you have to decide what matters. I'm with that. And when he drops an album called The Big Fish Theory, the immediate question is, well, what's the theory? Mm -hmm. Right? It's instantly a question. It's instantly thought-provoking. Yes. So then I listen to the album. What is the theory? What is the big fish theory? When people ask him in interviews, what is the Big Fish Theory? He says, oh, I'll tell you after. I'll, oh, tell you, I'll tell you after the interview. So people have asked him. People have asked him, yeah. And he, Who, he'll, he won't say it on air. Who's asked him? Uh, I think Ebro and Pete Rosenberg on Hot 97 have, have asked him. Oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah, I'll tell you after. I'll tell you he after. really said that? <laughs> yeah. Because he doesn't just want to give it away. So here we are. Matt, what is a fish? A fish? A fish... Dude, that's tough. I'm not sure I can answer that in, like, one segment. No, Matt, what is a fish? Come it's on. It's an amphibious animal, typically with gills and scales. Yes, it's a sea creature. It swims in the water. Yes. There are different sizes of fishes. Yes. There are small ones, and there are large ones. Yes. There are goldfish. There are tuna. Yes. Which are larger. Matt, a small fish to a human, What would you? What would, what's a small fish to you? To me? Yeah. To me, it's a snack. What's the name of a small fish? Like a type of fish? Yeah, what's the type of a fish that's small to you? Okay, a sardine. A sardine is a small fish to you. Yes. What's a big fish to you? Um, a, a, a largemouth bass. That's a big fish to you. It eats other fish. Mm. Smaller fish. It's at the top of the fish food chain. That is a big fish comparatively in the fish chain. Yes. Yeah, to me, a goldfish is a small fish. Mm -hmm. And a big fish is a tuna. Is a shark a fish? Yeah. A dolphin isn't. A shark is a fish. Right. And a shark is a big fish to me. Because a shark is bigger than me. A shark can kill me. A Absolutely. goldfish can't kill me. Absolutely. I consider the shark a big fish. Would the whale consider the shark a big fish? <laughs> uh, in terms of size, no. I would say no. Yeah, in a whale, when it sees a shark, it's like, oh, that's a big fish who dominates me and who can eat me. No, nah, a whale laughs at that. Like <laughs> A whale laughs at that. But a goldfish, mm -hmm. a small fish, is frightened of the shark. Right. It's comparative physics. So it's perspective. Right. It's perspective. Yes. It's so like, is my car going fast? Oh, but I'm in a an F-15 fighter jet that's going 600 miles an hour. Then it's going slow. Yeah. Can what we've been calling small fishes, like sardines, goldfish, be considered... By anybody, by any human, by any fish, mm -hmm. a big fish. Sure. Compared to... To who? To uh, 
like a small aquatic what's the word organism like a krill like a algae yeah like a krill like some plankton yeah like a water bug yes sir could consider a goldfish a little trout Mm -hmm. a goldfish to be a big fish absolutely so the goldfish the small fish could be a big fish yeah a goldfish a small fish in our human world exists in a fish bowl or a fish bag yes. by itself. Right. It is the only thing in that world. In its world that has boundaries, the boundaries of the bowl, mm-hmm. it is the only thing inside of it. Hmm. There's nothing up. There's usually only water with the fish. There might be some decorations. A human might put rocks in there, a fake plant, a fake like a little treasure chest. But those things are inanimate. Yes. And the fish controls them. The fish can do whatever it wants to them. Right. The fish is the only thing. It's in its own world. Would a fish in a fish bowl consider itself the biggest fish in the world? It's a tough question. Because it would also be the smallest. Nothing can threaten it. It doesn't have anything else to think about. It has nothing else to worry about. It has nothing else to do. Yeah. Besides yeah. swim around by itself. Yeah, that's adequate to say. So that very small fish we decided was a small fish can think itself that it is the biggest fish. Yes. But I could be carrying it around in a plastic bag. Yes. Whipping it at my friends. Right. Saying, ah, look at my fish. Which you do do from time to time, by the way. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to Clark's goldfish. (laughs) Thanks, man. He's been through a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he has. (laughs) I, uh, I want a goldfish. Oh, they're not that expensive. <laughs> I'm going to go get one, I think. Yeah. Does the goldfish in my hand know that there is me, a large human, carrying it around, controlling it, showing it? Does that goldfish know? Perhaps, but... I don't know like if it knows, because the goldfish sees... It sees the water around it. Yeah. Which is clear. It sees the bag, so it can see out of the bag, right? Yes. What does the goldfish see? (laughs) What does the goldfish see from its bag? It sees the world pass it by, I guess. And what is the world around it to the goldfish? Whatever you happen to be doing right then, if you're the one carrying it. And what does the goldfish... Does the goldfish think about the world that it's passing through? Does it think... Wow, all of those things are so much bigger than me. Well, I'm not familiar with goldfishes in terms of intelligence, but in this analogy where it relates to humans, I think some humans try to... Maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit. Go ahead. Okay. Like some humans try to definitely analyze the hypothetical, you know, street or, you know, whatever the human is carrying them through. Like Isaac Newton would be an example and he would say that god is the one carrying him through it and he would just try to observe the rules and everything that's happening around him the fish can't necessarily do anything about the world around it no whether it's trying to analyze it whether it thinks it's bad or good Mm -hmm. it can't do anything about it it's a fish inside of a plastic bag right and now you were saying what is the metaphor what is this relating to who is the big who thinks now this is just this is hypothetical i don't know if this is w- what the theory is mm-hmm. but if we're going down this route who is analyzing the world mm-hmm. who thinks they can control the world despite they might be controlled in a plastic bag yeah who is analyzing the world who is trying to hmm. who is trying to make a difference who wants to make a difference but physically can't. But maybe they don't know that because they're just a stupid fish. <laughs> Which person is that? What type of person in everyday life? Yeah. We have what type or which person specifically? What do you think? A person that, that, that sees the world around him. Yeah. That it can't do anything about. It can't change whether yeah. it knows it or not. But since that person thinks they are the biggest fish and they, are th- they <laughs> think that they are the only thing in the universe that matters then they think maybe, oh, hey, I can change the world around me. Mm -hmm. I'm the most important thing. Yeah. 
They'll listen to me. Well, you can absolutely change the way other people behave, and that is an aspect of the world <laughs> that can be affected by other humans. But yeah, you can't change the world itself. You can't change the world. You can change what's around you. You can affect the things that are around you that are immediately but this thing in your own world. And you can you can change what's in your head also. Yeah. Whether it's good thoughts, bad thoughts, other people's thoughts. You can control that. Absolutely. And you can control the things around you. But the fish that has nothing else in the bag with it. Mm-hmm. The only thing that it can control is itself. Right. That's the only thing that it, it even has the possibility to control. Who or what situation is like that? Where maybe people want to change the world around them or just can't change the world around them? I mean, okay, here's a, maybe the prime example is, to, to continue on your fish analogy, there's a guy named David Foster Wallace. Have you heard of him? No. He was a... I think he committed suicide a few years ago, which is really sad. He was an American uh, philosopher, and he came up with the famous fish and water analogy, which is an old fish swims by a bunch of younger fishes and says, hey, guys, how's the water? And the two uh, younger fishes look at each other and say, what's water? Because water is all they've ever known in their life. So to them, they don't perceive it. They That's literally how. know nothing. They, yeah. they they only know. Mm-hmm. To us, that's time, I think. is Like, we really, that's the water we're swimming through, is time. That's something that's beyond our conception. Yeah, we, we know n- nothing else besides time. Everything is mm-hmm. is time. Everything is based on time. There's no being outside of time. Yeah, and trying to understand that is impossible. And th- <laughs> <laughs> But at the same time, we as humans are capable of understanding that at some point it runs out. We're capable of understanding that we are incapable of understanding right. time or other things outside of time. And yet everyone we know dies. So we know that everybody's time, we assume, unless an afterlife exists, is limited. There's nothing we can do about it like a fish and, and in a, a plastic fish bag. In a plastic bag surrounded by water mm-hmm. literally only knows water. They don't know what it's like to be outside of water because if they go outside of water they Mm -hmm. die yeah immediately if they go outside of water they die immediately yeah they have no perception of how other things exist outside of water no and if you tried to explain it to a goldfish they would probably just they would they wouldn't even want to consider it because it's too scary yeah and the same with us yeah it's scary to think about time yeah Time is going to run out for our lives. And and when we escape time, Mm -hmm. we'll be dead. Yeah. We die. And then when we're dead, there's no longer time for us. Right. Because we're dead. Right. And that's whatever that means. I don't care who you are. That's scary to you. That's scary. Time. The thing, the only thing that is constant and ever moving forward and that everyone on earth has to deal with will end one day. And in between then, you are stuck with an eternity and the blink of an eye. It's all the same. You know what I mean? Life is over like that, and it also takes forever to, you know, get your car parked in Manhattan. Yes. Wow. So Vince Staples. Time? (laughs) (laughs) Yo, yes. No. And then then I'm going to, and then we're going to try and figure (laughs) out how this album discusses this or or something else that we've said. Right. Time is to humans as water is to fish. Mm-hmm. The big, the big fish, the biggest fish, the only fish perhaps in its universe, knows nothing else besides water. Yeah. Humans, every single human knows time. Yeah. And the fact that when we're, that when we die, there will be no time. Yeah. When a fish dies, there will be no water. The fish ceases to exist when it doesn't have water. Right. The human, when it ceases to exist, doesn't have time. Yeah. I think that's why drugs mess people up so much because I think I would be willing to bet money if you did a study, it would show that drugs affect people's perceptions of time. And it's in a way like so distorting to your experience that people say that it results in an ego death, (laughs) quote unquote. And I think that's just your brain saying, oh, sh- 
oh shoot i don't know how to deal with this you know what is an ego death it's when like it's when supposedly like every like preconception and false construction you've created in your brain to explain life just goes away and you're just experiencing it and you know you're free from metrics i guess like time like seconds you could be free from time yeah because you just don't care yeah and that's like more than i think most people can handle today was the day that i used a bidet today was the day that i used a bidet am i gay today was the day that i used a bidet today was the day that i used a bidet yes. today was the day that i used a bidet am i gay okay back to vince staples yeah. and this album let's go <laughs> i'm gonna tell you themes on the album okay and we're gonna fi- and I'm gonna tell you lyrics from the album, and we're gonna figure out how these lyrics relate to that big fish theory that we just came up with. Let's do it, Matt. When I listen to the big fish theory, some themes that I pick up. Yeah, there are lots of themes of love and gold digging. Okay. On the album, he talks about all my life. Pretty women done told me lies. Okay, I haven't, I haven't heard that. He says that a lot. Yeah, he says that. He says that's a chorus on on seven forty five. Okay, and on seven forty five, he's talking about picking up a girl at seven forty five p.m. Okay, in his seven forty five. Oh yeah, BMW. Yeah, I think that's in, what we in determined. some car yeah. that it's a seven that's called the seven forty five. Yeah. So there it is, money, and loving. <laughs> the song "Love Can Be." Uh, a female sings in the track. She says, love can be a lot, so maybe not. And then proceeds to talk about uh, things she wants from him monetarily. She wants expensive things. Kay. She wants him to treat her right. But he wants her, she wants him, sh- she wants Vince to give her expensive things. Daddy's yacht. Let me take those keys around the block. Girls love the lifestyle. So prone to clubbing. Come alive when the night's out. (laughs) I've heard that before. (laughs) Just crashed a sports car. Gold diggers are pretending like they love someone. Yeah. Because they love money. Right. And they love the appearance of money, success. Yeah, yeah, high class. And so they use Vince for that. Right. Other themes on the album. You told me you listened to Yeah, Right? Yeah. What is that one about? You know, I really was kind of lost on it. It seemed like uh, I think he was like mocking people's uh, accomplishments and saying, you know what, like in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, he could be doing that, but I think he's just mocking people who... Just talk about the cool stuff they're doing a lot. Saying it's not cool. Or or just saying that when people brag and rap about money, their house being big, mm-hmm. their car nice, that their girl is fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. He says, yeah, does she? Are you well paid? Mm-hmm. Are your shows packed? Yeah. How's the thug life? How's the love life? So people who brag about all these things, lots of rappers do talk yeah. about those things in particular. Yeah. He's saying, boy, yeah, right. What is what is yeah, right saying? It's saying, I don't believe you. He It's saying, I don't believe you. He's saying, I don't care. Is it real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he's saying a lot of people are bragging about it and, you know, buying their Audis on credit and leasing it. Yeah, perhaps aren't being smart with their money or with their not money. A lot of rappers who come in the game on their first song already rapping about how much money they have. Mm -hmm. Migos' first song was Versace. What? (laughs) Yeah. How is that your first song? You're rapping all about how much Versace you have. And we'll have to have this talk another day, but I'd love to get into that more about, you know. Yeah, that's a different talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, why why that? Why is that the thing that everyone feels the need to rap about? And obviously. On, on their yeah. first album, on their first track, on the first, on the first material, mm-hmm. on the first material that they are showing to the world. Why is that the thing? Yeah. When you know everyone else is they doing have, it. Mm-hmm. How much women they have. Yeah. 
how cool they are. Yeah. Why not just be a good rapper? Yeah. I think it goes deeper than the fact that they're just <coughs> that they were poor. I think it's yeah. We'll have to have that talk. And now, so I've given you some of the themes. Yeah. How does that relate to the possible big fish theory. theory that we came up with earlier in the show? Well, you want to talk about plankton. I mean, not plankton. <laughs> Sorry. Gold diggers. <laughs> you want to talk about plankton, my dude. <laughs> if you want to talk about gold diggers, they could be like some sort of deceptive fish that, you know, masks itself like an anemone, is it? That pretends it's like a... Or you know how some octopi pretend that they're plants and then... Uh-huh. And then kill? Yeah. Oh, what about a goldfish mm-hmm. looks really pretty? It's gold. Yeah. But what can a goldfish do? That's a great point. It's all simple. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> goldfish don't do anything yeah. to help anybody. Goldfish yeah. aren't hunters. No. No, what do they eat? They eat fish food, man. I don't know. Yeah. Stuff you buy at a plant store. I don't know what goldfish eat. Like in the wild. I'm going to Google that real quick. Goldfish eat what we buy for them. That's true. Gold diggers, <gasps> they don't contribute anything to society or to a healthy relationship. And they just eat and use what they, what you give them. Right. And they're just but, pretty. Yeah, but and they're pretty. Yeah, they're shiny people. The goldfish won't live, though. The goldfish that you bought, you buy the goldfish. You buy the food for the goldfish. Right. If you stop feeding the goldfish the money mm-hmm. that you spend on it, the goldfish will die. Yes. Do people buy their way in their do people buy love do people buy oh relationships my, oh, oh my god yes yes i'm yes, not yes. talking about prostitution no, i'm I talking know. about dude how many people i mean i've heard so many conversations at this school about you ccny know, yes city college i'm calling you out stephanie clinkert whoa <laughs> who is that from the city college fund oh <laughs> what did Stephanie Klinkert say? I have heard her allude to the fact that she enjoys when her boyfriend buys her things that are expensive. You know, and I understand. And, okay, and I'm not saying all people are bad. No. But there are some people who only date men or are with men because of what they've bought them. Yeah, not Stephanie. But Metaphorically, uh, yes. some men have bought love yeah. from women yeah man in this city. and they and they have to continue to buy love for yeah. that women yes or what will happen or the woman will leave the woman will leave. how does the woman uh could take your money and kanye says it in gold digger yes she gonna leave with half mm-hmm. that's referring to a divorce yeah yeah get a prenup because she's gonna take all your money uh for free by kendrick how does that start you ain't even buy me no outfit for the fourth. I need a Brazilian wavy 28 inch. You playing. I shouldn't even be messing with you anyway. I need a baller. Boss. So this woman. Yeah. And for free gets mad at Kendrick. At, very mad at Kendrick. Yes. When he doesn't buy her things. Yeah. The fish dies when you don't get when you don't feed it. Yes. With the fish food that you have to buy. From the food fish food store yeah what yeah so is that a big fish theory ah uh, see when i hear the big fish theory i feel like that refers to the food chain a little bit clearly there's many different <laughs> yeah. aspects to this big fish theory yes. but i think right now a goldfish mm-hmm. which could consider itself a big fish yes. if it's the only thing it cares about could be some gold digger women yeah. in Vince Staples life. Okay, we've came, we've come to one conclusion so far. Moving on to another theme. 
the yeah right theme. Yeah. The people, the rappers who brag about the sexy women in their lives, the money in their lives, their big houses, their fast cars. Yeah. Who Vince is sarcastically saying, yeah, right, you're not that cool. Mm -hmm. Are those people big fish or think themselves to be big fish Mm -hmm. because they're selfish? Yeah. Is the point that I'm making that a big that a fish is selfish? The selfish fish. Hmm. It it only thinks about itself. It's in its own world. So you think that people are a little bit like that in general? Like everyone has some self interest. So and yeah, and different groups of people. Women who love money. People who brag about how much money they have. Yeah. People who only think about themselves and not their not other people. That's right, which is a yeah, problem. Oh, the chorus to the song Big Fish is the repetition of the phrase, I was up late night bawling, counting up hundreds by the thousands. Yeah. Which is a cliche that Vince sarcastically disputes in Yeah, Right, talking about how much money you have, talking about how great you're doing. Mm -hmm. But that phrase is repeated eight times in Big Fish. Yeah. Why is that there? Is he mocking that? Is he mocking when people talk like that? Which is what you said to me. You said that when he has that in his chorus of his big single, that he's mocking it. I don't know, though. I think we've talked about... Or is he also appreciating it? I think it's that, yeah. Is he, He's saying, yeah, right, to himself. I think Some, sometimes <laughs> he's going to brag. Sometimes he's going to li- stay up late night and ball mm-hmm. and count up his money. Is he saying that's okay sometimes? He has other bars in in the... And there's this one bar that goes, mixing up the holy water with the Voss. Voss being expensive artesian water. That's like $3 a bottle for a small amount of water. Yeah. I feel like that's a rap cliche, talking about expensive, gaudy things that Mm -hmm. are unnecessary. Right. And we've seen that conscious rappers are not immune from that. That they all have to do it sometimes. That they all have to do it sometimes. He's saying, oh, yeah, right, to himself. Possibly. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Is Vince a big fish? <sighs> or does Vince sometimes, when he thinks about himself, when he writes all these raps about himself, when he self promotes himself making him a big fish i think he would say it's both i think it's both i think sometimes everyone's a big fish mm-hmm. but in vince staples case he is a talented rapper he's a popular rapper on spotify he's 300th in the world yes he is a talented person. He is someone who is popular and in is and is in demand. Mm-hmm. So, so is he a big fish? Rightfully so. Yeah. So he's saying that he does that also. He thinks about himself a lot also. Well, yeah. But and he's I'm, saying that's okay. I don't think because I am good. He is like how many you saw him recently. I saw him at Madison Square Garden. How many people would you say were there? You know what? Well, he opened for Tyler, the Creator. Tyler, the Creator had more people. But, I mean, thousands of people. Right. How many people? Can you attract thousands of people to do something by yourself? No, no. I'm not that big of a fish. Me neither. So, Vince... Thinks about himself a lot, possibly, mm-hmm. but is allowed to right. because he is. It's not uh, he's not saying that he's like the greatest in the world, but he is great. Right. He does have influence, but reminds me of a saying, which is, you know, a basketball player is rich. The person who pay- pays his salary is wealthy. You know, a basketball player makes millions of dollars, which is more than we'll ever see in our lives, probably. Mm-hmm. And Donald Sterling, you know, makes enough to pay 30 people on a roster that much. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So it's all perspective. 
is Vince saying a similar thing to what Kendrick's saying on Humble? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Vince is saying he is a big fish and he's allowed to be selfish. You should not. Because <laughs> you aren't as good. Oh, yeah, right. Look at me. <laughs> yeah. And and Kendrick on Humble is saying, he's saying be humble, mm-hmm. which is a good thing. Humility is good. Yeah. But he's also saying be humble because I'm here. Yes. yes, he is. Which is not a humble thing to say. No, that's the opposite of humble. Yeah. Telling others to be humble. Telling others that I'm a big fish. But when you say that you're a big fish, I just think, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. That's awful. Yeah. But that is what people who are very popular think. Yeah. How does this relate to the the fish only knowing water? Like humans only knowing time? Hmm. Does it or does it not? Is it just a different idea? Yeah, I think it's a different. I mean, it's all kind of about the fact that, you know, the things we value and the things that we tell ourselves are important. Money, big booty women, cars. Mm. 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 Is any of that going to, like, you know. Matter. Yeah. When the water runs out. Yeah. When time ends. Yeah, the big fish. It only thinks about it itself and its world. It doesn't know that the water is around it and that the water ends. It's a circle. When it's in a bag, it's in a circle. (laughs) And when it's out of the bag, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Do people in time, when they're outside of time, Mm -hmm. do they not matter? I think some people who maybe were big fishes in their lifetime when they exit time and die Mm -hmm. they still can matter though yeah if they had a big enough impact on the world what's the quote where it says you die twice one when you stop breathing and two when people say your name the last time yeah when the last person starts stops talking about you so your ideas will still uh, still exist people still talk about abraham lincoln he was a big fish and he is still a big fish because of his massive impact yeah martin luther king you know people (laughs) allude to him today and say you know how would he feel about all these black teenagers sagging their pants and you know and that's because we want to get inside his head because his ideas live on so he still matters and he is still a big fish yeah he didn't think about himself though he thought about other people he thought about himself with other people. Yeah, within the he context. He thought about yeah. we as yes. opposed to me. Yeah, you just learned about that. Yes, I did. We is better as opposed to me or <laughs> us and them even. Yeah. <laughs> and what is Vince saying about that? Is he saying that if he only... I don't think he knows, man. I don't think he knows. I don't, think I don't knows. even know if he thought about it as much as we just talked about it. I think I think he has a theory. Okay. But it's so, since the themes are so grand, it could be anything. That's right. We, we saw a lot of selfishness on the album. That's right. But the but but the main image of the album is a goldfish. Right. And only a goldfish. And the goldfish is the biggest thing in the world. We did it. We we figured it out. We got it. We cover all the bases, I think. Yeah, and you I know what, Vince, if you have a problem with that, I want you to call us at 212-650-6903 if you have a problem with it. I, that Matt, That's it. That's the big fish theory. Mm-hmm. This makes me want to go buy a goldfish. Yeah. How much are they? They're like five bucks, right? Yeah, you can, I can get some for cheap. I might go right after this and go buy a goldfish. Oh my to God. be honest, where do you even go? Do they have PetSmart in New York City? 
I don't know. I'm just gonna l- type in Harlem Pet Store. Okay. And then go walk there. Can you probably. care for a fish? A fish? I don't know. I mean, I can give it food in the beginning and the end of the day. Yeah. You have to clean it too, right? Yeah. There are no pets allowed in the dorms, though. They you won't know. What? know. They won't know. You know what? And I'll, and I'll and I'll have a fish in a glass cup on my desk. Yeah. And I'll think about it. And I will decide. Yeah. What the big fish theory is. We did it. We did it. We yeah. did it. We figured out what the, the big fish theory is. Or we have two. We have two big fish theories. Yeah. So one is perspective and one is time, right? Yeah. One is time mm-hmm. is water. And one is being selfish. And mm-hmm. and that can be okay and that can be not okay. Yeah. Depending on the impact you have on the world. What have you been listening to lately? Uh, I've been listening to The Big Fish Theory lately. No, Lil Boat 2 dropped on oh Friday, God. and I've been listening. We're going to talk about that next week. Okay, cool. Because there's lots of clean versions online. So we're talking about Lil Boat 2 next week. Awesome. Stay tuned. Dude, it did. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It's it's good. It's yeah. not great. It's pretty good, though. Mm-hmm. I'll bro- we'll talk about more of that next week. Thanks for listening. Thanks for letting us figure out what the big fish theory is. You rock. You're the best. I love you. Harlem. 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 Bye bye, Harlem. Mwah.